is up YouTube, it's your girl Ashley. In today's segment, we're gonna be talking about this mini Dollar Tree haul, you guys. I purchased some good stuff today and I want you guys' opinion on what you think. But I thought they were so cute, I just had to go ahead and do this YouTube video really, really quickly. So you guys, if you wanna to continue to watch, stay tuned. Guys, okay, so the very first thing that I noticed when I walked in through the door, um, was this great big tumbler. Look at how cute this is. This is so freaking cute. I happened to see this as soon as I walked in and it's so cute. And um, it's just good for traveling, good for the kiddos. You can fill it up with water. I just had to get this, it's so cute. And yep, it was only a dollar of course. So grab these before they're gone because people are gonna hop on it and they're traveling everywhere now that some of these COVID restrictions are lift it so go grab one this is the second one this is an ice cream cone look at that bottom it's shaped like a cone it even has the <laughs> little prints in it so cute um it's really really huge guys just to compare how big it is i'll put it with my glasses so you can see that this is pretty huge like look at that size wise that's very very big so yeah i feel like this is good for working out too as well i can fill this up this is like i don't even know so it's a 2.22 liter plastic tumbler like you can't beat that if you drink one of these per day i'm pretty sure it's gonna do the work for sure on to the next one this is the blue one this one says life is a beach enjoy the waves it's just a cute extra one as well i bought three for us so yeah this is a uh, the same size is 2.22 liter and it was really really cute so i had to grab that one as well the next thing that i have are these cute cute adorable bamboo table torches so if you live in an apartment or have a small space a patio or a balcony preferably these i think are so freaking cute just to have company and you know just to kind of set a little ambiance and this is this is so cute it comes with the of course the torch the bamboo stand and this comes out this tin can here and it's a rope inside of it so you will have to purchase the fuel by itself like the torch fuel and they were sold out today so i probably have to go to like walmart or target to get some it's very inexpensive a couple bucks three dollars four dollars at the most but what you'll do is you'll take this top off here they sell it at dollar tree too but like i said they were sold out but you'll just take the top off simply and then you'll fill it in that hole there and then you just fill it all the way to the top i think it lasts up to a couple hours so this is a good buy. I thought they'd be so cute to just sit on my little balcony. So, yep, these are Dollar Tree. Go get them. The next thing that I have for you all, da -da -da -da, I have this book here. Yes, honey, this is Morris Chestnut. This is a book, I guess. It says, the cut, you lose up to 10 pounds in 10 days. Scope your best body. This was in Dollar Tree, y'all. Y'all better go look. Don't be sleep on their books. They have a lot of good books. I purchased the, quite a few books from there, actually. I was actually browsing to do a DIY with some books, and I was going to stack my books, and I happened to run across this, and I said, you know what? This would be beneficial, and they really do have some good exercises in here they tell you um some diets just um how to do a cardio routine exercise plans at home for beginners just a lot of little helpful tips so as you can see i bookmarked <laughs> one page already i thumbed through it and looked at some of the things that i want to do so yeah this was a dollar go get that period they have really come up on their cosmetics dollar tree we're just gonna go through the cosmetics that they have and some that i've seen that were really really cute today before we get into it i forgot to mention you guys i do have these cute cards these are the jumbo plan cards they're so good for just game night having company or friends over or just the kiddos or family but they're so cute i don't know they're big they're huge it's so funny to me but yeah, they're only a dollar as well, so grab you a couple of these. The next thing that I'm gonna be talking about is these scrunchies. Yes, this is the Fashion Accessory Edition. They're pretty durable, if you all can see that. 
And these are some of the scrunchies that I've seen um, some of the girls selling online. I thought they were really, really durable and they have some pretty colors. I just got these two because they were the most neutral. If you need scrunchies, like please go to Dollar Tree and get y'all some scrunchies. They're a dollar piece and yes, they are like this velvet type of feeling. They're really, really good. So. so the next thing that I've noticed too that I forgot to mention is the Revlon. They recently also started selling Revlon. Um, this is the Thick Stick Foundation Shade. Ooh, I went to like two Dollar Trees today um, and I've seen this in both Dollar Trees. So, I didn't see it before and that was just last week so I don't know if this is a new shipment of theirs that they have received but Revlon is a top brand as you guys know um, this is the color cookie and I'm gonna open it and swatch it because you can never have too many foundations right you can mix and match and see what's good but it's this little and this is called flesh doesn't have a smell of course I'm just gonna swatch it right here okay let's see it so as you know Revlon is naturally they have great products you guys anyway but if you can build that up and maybe blend it it's probably legit for sure you can even use that as a concealer and it is thick so yeah I'll definitely keep you all updated on that but it did blend in. But I seen it and I'm like, you know what? I have to get that. But yeah, for sure. It's thick coverage. Very heavy. So you only need a little bit. So a little goes a long way. So yep, if you guys want to grab that, this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. And again, it's by Revlon. So the next thing that I have is the Revlon Thick Stick Foundation Shade. This is in the shade S'more. I was thinking about using this one. This one is the shade S'more again. I was thinking about using this one more so as a contour than a foundation or concealer. Um, this would seem perfect for my skin for that, but just to swatch it here. Okay. It is pretty deep, as you can see, but I can't wait to I uh, do my makeup. I'm going to try, give it a try and see how it blends and stuff, and I'll let you guys know how that works. But yeah, go get these for a dollar. Um, like I said, they had a lot at my Dollar Tree, so check your local Dollar Tree and see if they have any more left. I'm not going to ramble on, but I am going to swatch some of these lipsticks that I saw seen at Dollar Tree. This is the Cashmere Silk Heart Candy. This is the Demi Matte Cream Lip Color. Um, this is really, really cute. I really love the packaging. Look how that looks. It's so pretty. I really do. The top is matte. It's like that matte finish. And um, the color is cute as well. If you don't know about Heart Candy, you should know about them. Period. They're really, really good, but that's so cute on a little summer day. I did try it on in the store, and I'm like, that is mine. I have to take that home. Not like I need a lot of them anyways, but it's very pigmented, and um, you can even do an ombre of that, if you will. And if anybody is wanting to know, it's 1320 is the number. So the next thing we're going to talk about is let's tap into this Maybelline Vivid Matte Lip Liquid. Now, as you know, a few years back, Maybelline launched their um, brand for the matte liquid, and it was very pigmented. Um, I remember because I bought some, but they have all colors at Dollar Tree, and I couldn't believe it. I almost passed this by. It was face like this with no name, and I just happened to pick it up and turn it around, and I said I knew it was Maybelline. So I just had to grab all of them. I think they have a total of four or five different colors that I've seen at my local Dollar Tree. I had to get that orange that was so freaking cute. I'm going to swatch all of them so you all can see. But I thought that was so cute and so cool. So this one is the first one that I showed you all. This one, this color is Pink Charge. It's number 15. And look at that dopa that this swap stick 
So we're gonna, just gonna go right, whoa, that is so pretty, it's transparent. And it's, again, it's matte, but it is pigmented. You can also um, pair that with the gloss on top. That would be really, really dope. So yeah, you guys, make sure you go grab these. These are the Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. The next one that we have is the number 48 Wicked Berry. I forget which kind I had a long time ago, um, but if I'm not mistaken, I think it was the purple one, this one. And so, let's see if they have a smell. They do. This one smells like berry, believe it or not. And I bet you this one is pretty as well. It's gonna swatch right on the side. Ooh, that is so pretty. I love those bold colors. As you guys know on my website, I have all of these bold colors. I'm into just like fashion and mixing these colors up just playing with different stuff y'all know how i feel about that so yes if you just want to step out your comfort zone and you just want to try some new things maybe you're going to a party maybe it's your birthday or maybe you just want to splash a color you're tired of looking boring y'all should get into these colors it's summertime you want to try something new so i highly encourage that this one, I'm sorry for rambling on. This one is the number 18, Orange Obsession. I like that name, that's so pretty. This one smells actually like the same as the last one. So I'm not sure if they have the same base or the ingredient that makes them smell alike, but I'm just gonna swatch this one right on the side of the purple. And all these can be paired with gloss as well. So that one is like more so of a coral. You'll have to build it up to get that highest pigment, but it is pretty. I really like that as well. I'm highly satisfied with all of the colors and I will be going back for more. The next thing, the next thing, y'all get ready, is this Hard Candy Plumping Serum. This is the Flashers brand. Just like this. This is what it looks like. It's so freaking cute. I had to get it. This is by Heart Candy again. And this is also more like a, a metallic green. And I just had to get it. I don't know if it's a... Oh, it says it's a plumping serum, so it goes on the lips. But look at that. It's so pretty. It's like an emerald green almost. Um... I want to put it on my lips, but I'm kind of scared. I'm going to swatch it first right here beside the orange just to see and feel how pigmented this may get. So this is more so like a translucent green. It has those iridescent colors in there. I can see pigmenting off of each other. So like that mermaid effect. I really love it. That is so cute. That's so cute, all of them. Green, orange, purple. Then we have that nude, like in the pink as well. So I feel like those are really, really cute. Um, this one does have a smell, it just smells really, really fruity. The name of this one is, I'm not sure if it has a name, but it's number 1372. Uh, this was the only color that I seen and yes, it does have a name. This one is called spark It's on the side. So I missed it. But yes, this one is called spark. I'm really really in tune with it I love all the colors that I did today um, But before you all go anywhere, I still have a couple more things So the next thing that I have by heart candy, they've really been doing their thing lately um, This is the heart candy look pro bear it all highlighter stick so this is what it looks like and it says that it's new right and i'm just gonna open it so you all can see this is called the ray of sunshine it's 1365 is the number i'm just gonna crack my seal like that So this is what it looks like very heavy durable like i said hard candy is one of the better brands out there they're um inexpensive i would say if you're on a budget for as far as makeup um but it's more high quality um on a budget if you will so this one again is the 
Ray of Sunshine. I'm just gonna swatch it on my cheek so you all can see. I've never tried it. Before I swatch it, I like to swatch it on my hand for some reason, just to see. Ooh, that's really, really pretty, you guys. I'm just gonna swatch it on my cheek. And then kind of blend it in. Or maybe I should like do my nose. Ooh, so that is, it gives like an illuminating type of vibe. It's pretty, I'm sure. Ooh, yeah, it is. Now that I'm looking at it in the light, it is. You probably can't really tell on here, but it's really, really cute. It's illuminating. It makes your skin look radiant. I will be trying this as well. The highlighter that I use right now by Becca, and I'm in love with it. I purchased from Marshalls. You guys go to Marshalls. They have a great selection of makeup and cosmetics. You guys, you will not be disappointed, but that's what I've been kind of on lately. But I will try this hard candy to see if it's given what it's supposed to give. So the next thing is this Wet n Wild Putty in My Hands. This is their catsuit collection, the liquid eyeshadow. This is a cream liquid eyeshadow. They have a little cat symbol on there as well, a little cat lady. But that is so cute, it says put putty, put putty in my hands. So I'm just gonna open it if I can. So this is what it looks like. You can use this as a lipstick, I guarantee you. I'm just gonna swatch it right here. Ooh, that is so pretty. This is so pretty. That's so cute. That is so cute. I'm so excited for summertime. Look at all this, look at all this stuff that I swatched today from Dollar Tree. Can y'all believe that? So this is a cream eyeshadow. It's cruelty free. It's by Wet n Wild. It's again, the liquid. Um, eyeshadow so you can use this again as a lipstick that's what I would do it is a liquid eyeshadow but you can also try different things with it to see what suits you and again this edition is the putty in my hand so you guys grab that this is the number 572 from Dollar Tree so go get that so I see that glow it's really it really is glowing I like that so yeah, I will be using that Heart Candy Bear It All Highlighter. I like that. I didn't even put on a lot and I see it kind of glowing. So I love radiant, like dewy looking skin. So that's a, a plus. So shout out to Revlon today, Heart Candy and Maybelline for some amazing, amazing products. And last but not least, I want to shout out Wet n Wild. And I think I have one more. How could I forget? Today, we're going to be wrapping it up with my girl, Ayani. I think that's how you pronounce her brand. She sells the 3D Fox Mink Lashes. They are cruelty-free and vegan-free. She has really, really been doing her thing here lately. She sells the Wispy Full Dramatic Eyelashes. And I'm just going to zoom in on her lashes. They're really, really pretty. On. I'm gonna take them out the box. They have a TikTok, an Instagram, a Facebook, a Twitter. You can follow her at Ioni Cosmetics, and that's I O N I Cosmetics. It also has a glue. This is what it looks like. It's 100% vegan. I really, really um, look up to her brand. I asked her questions. I even DM'd her today to see if she wants to do some business, honey. Yes, I really, really like how sleek her packaging is. It is a California-based company. So, you know, I'm just waiting for her to get back with me. It's 100% handmade. These are the 3D Fox Mink Lashes. So I've tried a couple and I love them. Um, every time I go in there, they're sold out, but she's doing her thing. That was a brilliant idea to do that, to get that in Dollar Tree. Um, so I can't wait to hear back from her, but shout out to Ayani, and I hope to hear from you soon, girl, real, real soon. So this is her 
So that concludes my mini haul for Dollar Tree, you guys. If you like this video, make sure you thumbs up. Give me some feedback on what you thought about the products today. Um, I am getting ready, as you guys know, for my big three one yes we are going to miami to celebrate honey yes we are so we're gonna have a good time i'm so looking forward i'm very blessed to be where i am at this stage of my life um so yeah we're just gonna have a good time we're gonna show up this is my first time going to miami so if you guys have any any like comments about where we should eat where we should stay what things to do excursions activities just link them in the comments below let me know what you think and yeah until next time see ya